Hey, what's up, nerds? It's Paul at Radio Free Hammer Hall. Today we're going to return to some Math Hammer. Have not really uh, done the Math Hammer too much in a while at this point. And uh, now that we've got the old world here, uh, you know, math is back and it's a bit more complicated than it once was, at least for uh, Age of Sigmar comparisons. Um, you know, I, the big reason that I really have not done nearly as much Math Hammer stuff is that Games Workshop actually got way ba better at balancing Age of Sigmar, so there was not really a whole lot of value in even doing it, other than really kind of basic stuff. Old World is just simply more complicated, so um, doing math to evaluate things a bit better is definitely, um, certainly I think, uh, worthwhile at this point anyway. Um, definitely great for newer people that are just kind of coming in and starting to kind of understand how different things interact. So basic attack formula, like this is really like the same as Age of Sigmar, right? You get your number of attacks times your odds to hit. Uh, and so in melee, it's going to be comparing your weapon skill to your opponent's weapon skill. And uh, if you are doing missile attacks, then it's your ballistic skill. Um, your odds to wound, you're going to be comparing strength and toughness. And then um, your odds of unsaved wounds going through gives you your damage output. Um, then if you want to take this even further, then you would divide it by points per model and you get the overall damage output per point. Um, but for Old World, you definitely need to take more into consideration um, what your, uh, that you're really just fighting in the front rank or fight, fighting in the front two ranks if you've got spears or some other ability that lets you fight an additional rank. So, um, your damage output there is going to be slightly more complicated because uh, it's going to be relative to your frontage and all of those sorts of things. So uh, let's start by looking at the hit chart. All right, here we have the hit chart for the old world. Here we're comparing your weapon skill to enemy weapon skill to determine what your hit value is. When you are equal to the... Uh, defender's weapon skill, the target's weapon skill, you're going to be hitting on fours. If your weapon skill is greater than the defender's weapon skill, you're going to be hitting on threes, unless your weapon skill is more than double the defending weapon skill. So in the case of weapon skill three, you're going to be uh, hitting on threes versus weapon skill two, and then hitting on uh, twos versus weapon skill one, because you are more than double that weapon skill of one at weapon skill three. So that is consistent all the way down the line. Slightly more complicated um, going up. So when you are attacking weapon skill that is higher than your own, you're going to be continuing to hit on fours uh, until you get to that point where the defender or the target weapon skill is more than double your unit's uh, weapon skill that's attacking. So again, looking at weapon skill three, you're going to be hitting on fours from enemy weapon skill of three up to enemy weapon skill of six, where you're equal to twice the defender's weapon skill. When you get to defender weapon skill of seven versus your weapon skill of three, you're gonna be hitting on fives. Now note that um, sixes are always successes regardless of the enemy weapon skill. And you're never going to um, have a to hit value that is um, worse than a five up. Uh, so that kind of gives you a rough uh, idea here. The uh, yeah, the gibberishy formulas off to the right uh, give you a more kind of concise idea, but the important thing is that 
uh, when the difference in weapon skill is more than twice the lower weapon skill value, that's where you're going to be stepping up or stepping down on your to hit value. And you know, that's consistent all the way down the chart. And slightly more simple is going to be the wound chart. All right, here we have our wound chart. So here you're comparing the attacker's strength to the defender's toughness. And here it's a lot easier. When you're equal, once again, you are hitting on fours. Uh, one more, you hit on threes. Two more, you hit on twos. And everything uh, more than that indifference is going to continue to hit on twos, and ones are always going to fail. In the other direction, um, you still have that increment of like, you know, one to one until you get to that six up. Then that six up is not uh, going to ever go to a seven up anymore as it might have done in previous editions. Then you go to uh, simply not being able to wound at all. So when your difference is greater than five, then you're going to go to uh, wounding on um, wounding uh, or not being able to wound at all. So say you are strength three, if you get to uh, enemy weapon skill, or I'm sorry, enemy toughness of nine, then you'll never be able to hit. So very valuable to know there. But your basic uh, combat is going to be, you know, if it's one more, then you're plus one to hit. If it's one less, then you're minus one to hit. And the same thing for twos. And then uh, those situations where you get to, you can't uh, wound at all, that's going to be uh, fairly rare. It's probably going to be involving characters or monsters in those cases. Now, just for purposes of comparison and kind of having a baseline, I went through the nine supported armies and pulled out the weapon skill, strength, toughness, and save for the core choices in those armies, and then averaged it out, and um, I just rounded it off just for simplicity. Um, so the values that we're looking at for averages are nice and easy weapon skill strength toughness is going to be an average of three and your save is going to be an average of five up which is definitely different than uh age of sigmar previously and you know in age of sigmar i always compared to a four up save because that's um you know more of a comparable thing for age of sigmar saves are a little bit better in that game but uh, here, at least for your core, your average is more like a five up. So that gives you a baseline so that you can kind of compare uh, the power of units kind of in a vacuum. You know, you can just kind of do some math hammer to get examples. Speaking of that, let's take a look at a couple of examples. So here I just took four examples of units from different armies. Uh, Chaos Warriors that just have hand, weapon, shield. Empire State Troops, hand, weapon, shield. Um, Dwarf Warriors, hand, weapon, shield. And Skeleton Warriors, hand, weapon, shield. Um, actually, in thinking about it, I didn't realize I was doing hand, weapon, and shield on all of these, but um, there you go. I wasn't really actively thinking about it. So this comparison, you can kind of see that, um, uh, see what that kind of difference looks like. Uh, offense versus defense and uh, you know the skeleton warriors despite being weapon skill two versus the weapon skill three of the empire state troops their damage output ends up being the same uh, because you know on average the skeleton warriors are going to be hitting against weapon skill that's one greater than theirs but they're still going to be hitting on that same four up as the empire state troops so skeleton warriors really only start being like it, it not hit, like being problematic for their wound values uh, at um, I'm sorry their hit values at being a greater difference than that. So you have to get to enemy weapon skill of five before they're going to be 
uh, hitting on sixes. I'm sorry, hitting on fives, rather. Uh, man, I am. my words are all mixed up today. I've had to re-record a few of these slides just because the words are not working. Um, you know, looking at um, you know, damage output versus damage absorption, these I just did as percentages. So your damage output, 37% for Chaos Warriors, 37% of your attacks are going to uh, go through and damage the enemy unit. So get all the way through their saves. That's just you know, versus our uh, average example core unit that I was comparing to. Um, damage absorption, on the other hand, because we have high weapon skill and high toughness, and then a four up save, so all of that better than the average, uh, you're going to be stopping 94.4% of enemy attacks that are coming into you. Um, that's also not factoring in uh, anything like armor piercing, um, but armor piercing certainly, of course, will change that. Uh, on defense, despite the weapon skill 5 versus weapon skill 4 of uh, the Warriors of Chaos versus the Dwarf Warriors, uh, they're still absorbing the same amount of damage. But that weapon skill of 5, um, allowing you to hit a little bit better on um, the attack there. So um, overall, kind of uh, just an interesting comparison um, that uh, difference in weapon skill being much better for you offensively than it is defensively, um, getting a lot more benefit from that because you have that um, that that lower like baseline of hitting on three. Or, I'm sorry, uh, the uh, the differences with four up being uh, a bit wider for weapon skill rather than strength and toughness. So um, this is kind of like the math that I'm going to be using going forward. Um, now that I'm also looking at this, some of these percentages might be a little off. I'm not sure. Um, my brain was tired when I was doing this. Now my brain is tired, uh, you know, looking at it again. So might be a bit off, but um, this should give you like a general idea of what we're looking at. So um you know looking at like unit comparisons going forward and kind of analyzing the value of units um uh, this is the uh, sort of example that i'm going to be working with and uh, i think it uh, you know feel free um i might try i'm going to try and build like some kind of calculator at some point to uh, get a better idea here um just kind of automate things and uh you know, if I can manage to do that in a way that is relatively easy, uh, I can make that available to the general public uh, somehow, probably like a shared Google Sheet or something like that. Anywho, um, that is going to be it for now. Uh, hope this is informative for you, and I'll talk to you all later.